Is this your farm? <laughs> so as we move from the ball to the field, you can see that indeed uh, seedlings are growing, but the growth is really stunted. The growth is not all that normal. It is not growing well. You can see them. Some of them are stunted on the field. Some of them are wilting. Despite um, maximum watering, yet they are not growing nicely. Meanwhile, after the application of the mixture of the banana fruit and then the peels, you will see that the whole thing will change. Meaning that there are active nutrients inside the banana fruit itself. Now banana is going to fertilize itself. <laughs> So that is how it is. The right banana is going to fertilize itself on the uh, on the field. So this is how they are growing. Now, after the whole thing, we shall after two weeks after the application, we will come back to the same place, and you will see that indeed there had been a great change after the application. I'm going to talk about using banana itself banana fruits including the peels to, as a fertilizer as an organic fertilizer to fertilize our plantain and banana field during plantain sucker or banana sucker multiplication we can use banana fruit and the peels to serve as fertilizer as an organic fertilizer in order to promote optimum growth and development so this is what we have we have banana this is raw banana in a state of decomposition you know this is banana ordinary banana in a state of decomposition we have it here yeah as you can see it's banana this is banana yeah The main reason is that banana fruit itself contains potassium, phosphorus, calcium, which help to promote optimum growth in plantain stroke banana plants. So this is how it is. It is in a little bit decomposed. We are going to remove everything. We just, we just remove the fruits. It's not all that spot. It's consumable. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this banana fruit. This is banana fruit. Now we will squeeze it to have the pop, the water, and leave the water to stand for a couple of days. Then we fertilize our field, especially the pupas which are not growing normally. We are going to use this to heal our suckers on the soil which are near to death but through this recipe through this organic banana fruit and then the leaves all the plants will be healed and grow nicely on the field after squeezing all the pap you pour the leaves 
of the banana inside. All right, so we have been able to miss the banana fruits, including the, the peels. You will leave them for a couple of days. Then we squeeze it and use it to fertilize as a foliar for fertilizer to fertilize our bananas and plantains on the field. So this is how it is. You add more water, a little more water to the whole thing. Now, I think it's okay. So, we leave the same thing here and then cover it for two weeks. And then we put it in a watering can the normal watering can and apply it and then we see the results this one after the whole thing fermentation is going to take place once fermentation takes place there will be decomposition and since the active ingredients in the fruits including the peels contains phosphorus calcium potassium it is going to boost the growth of a uh, growing pre nursery and the post nursery um, bananas and plantains on the field. So we'll leave it to stand for a while. All right, so after our uh, 14 days, which is two weeks, uh, we are going to uncover and look at what has happened there. Um, we have removed it. And after removal, you can see that most of the pulp, including the peels, are in a state of decomposition. Quite smelly, um, but not so pungent. <laughs> the smell is not all that unpleasant. It's quite good. Yeah. So we are going to sieve it and then put it or pour it into a... Uh, watering cans for application so this is how it is now we are going to seal the whole thing so that so first of all you remove some of the half from the water it So this is the sieving process to get the water for foliar application. It's a practical food work. Sometimes you don't need to go in for fertilizers from the chemical shop, from the fertilizer shop. You can create your own fertilizer at home with no cost. 
so now we have we have a filtrate inside here serving as our fertilizer so you are going to pour it in this particular watering can now this is a 14 liter watering can we we'll pour it inside so that we can see the quantity of water that we also add so we have it here Now, the whole thing, if I check, is on the 10th latest. So you are going to dilute it with uh, 4 liters. So it's by 10 by 4. So that um, we apply it. So we'll add 4 liters of water. Now our can is full. So we are taking it right to the field where our banana stock plantains seedlings are. So that we'll see how it is. So now we are going to apply it on the field. This is how they are growing, very poor. Consistent application will change the growth. So we just apply it. it now it is seven as a foliar fertilizer. So once it gets on the leaf, it's no problem with that. So the plant is going to feed itself through the stomata pores within the leaf. Yes, whilst what enters the soil, the root also conducts it. And then, there we go. After two weeks, we shall come back to the field. And then, look at how our seedlings are surviving on the field. So, you, after the application, you can only apply water in 24 hour time. By that time, at least, all the ingredients might have entered the plant. So, water it with water in 24 hours time. So, after application, then you apply water the following day. So this is serving as a booster to boost the growth for optimum
development. can see that some of them are at the verge of dying but trust me this is going to heal all uh, ones here so continue to apply and then give you the results.